Before you start your work, you need four things. You need to uh, prepare your space, get your materials, make a playlist if you want to listen to music, and set up some time. Uh, hello everyone, uh, for today's task you will need a A5 piece of paper, uh, that's half an A4 and it can be just a white piece of paper or it can be uh, with lines or uh, previously used, it doesn't matter, it just has to be an A5 piece of paper. You would also need a pencil and sharpener, a rubber with corners or uh, the back of a pencil, one square of tissue paper and if you have access to chalk or charcoal that will be fantastic, it will make it easier. Finally you will need an object as well. Uh, in this exercise you're gonna focus on shape and tone so try to find something that has an interesting shape and it's easy to draw. If it has too many small details it's gonna be difficult. So some of my suggestions are uh, maybe some shoes, uh, a toy, uh, your breakfast or if you know any origami maybe you can make a piece of uh, origami and draw that as well. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cover your A5 piece of paper with uh, graphite or chalk so if you're using a pencil you just need to sharpen uh, the pencil a bit and then use those uh, sharpenings to rub in the piece of paper, the same with chalk or the same with uh, charcoal. You just cover the surface uh, first and then you, with tissue paper you try to blend the color a bit better. Once you have the whole uh, surface covered, you're gonna be using your rubber to work with highlights. You need to really have a look at your object and, and see where the light is uh, hitting it and then with the rubber uh, show all those highlights. Once you have a main shape, uh, you're gonna, you can use a pencil or you can use uh, a chalk or charcoal if you're using that to start working on the shadows as well to give your object more depth and more volume. This is a difficult exercise, uh, especially because you you have to change your mindset. You need to understand that you're working with light. So it is tricky. I've made two different examples for to show you. Uh, one with one of my shoes and another one with a paper boat. Uh, so give it a go. I know it's difficult. Just try your best. The idea is that you're working with a material that you normally don't use as a way to draw. Uh, so it's just experimenting with how it works and try to uh, experiment a bit more. Okay, that's it, have fun.